So whale brains are super weird, and I want to talk about them. And don't start with, that's a dolphin, not a whale. All dolphins are whales. Okay, thank you. So all members of the cetacean order are what's known as voluntary breathers, which means that they physically think about and have to like make happen every single breath that they take. Unlike us humans, we're... For the most part, we're not really thinking about the breathing that we're doing, unless you're in a yoga class. And even when we sleep, the breathing just continues to happen. Question is then, how do whales sleep? Also, just quick jump scare warning, I'm going to be showing pictures of brains. So when you look at a mammalian brain, you'll notice the gap that happens between the two hemispheres. That's known as the corpus callosum. Corpus callosum. But if you look at a dolphin's brain, you'll notice that the gap is quite a bit larger. This gap actually allows them to sleep half of their brains at a time. It's called unihemispheric slow wave sleep. So while one side of their brain can be asleep and resting, the other side is handling basic functions like breathing and swimming. And here's a better look at the difference between that gap. But just like humans, whales and dolphins have a neurological phenomenon known as contralateral control, which is where one side of the brain controls the opposite side of the body. So when they sleep, the right hemisphere of their brain, they'll usually close their left eye. So if you ever see a whale or a dolphin swimming in a sort of lazy way with one eye closed, odds are they're asleep. 